are at the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. So the first thing we do is we grab this um, passport book. This is the um, flatbread pizza. It's a frozen dessert violet lemonade. And this we have not tried, which is a spicy hot dog with pineapple chutney and plantain chips. We're going to walk into a house of good fortune. Let's see what they have. This is a pineapple with Tajin sauce on it. What is it? Venus flytrap. So this is the grilled oysters, and it even comes with a little Tabasco bottle. walk through this garden it's in Kanto themed so it's very cute and you end up in this beautiful little garden oh look at these don't touch these because they have pricks on them a different type of cactus. And they're shaped in little Mickeys. How cute. Booth has all of this stuff and it must be good because the line is one of the longest lines here. This guy is kind of cranky standing in this line. I'm a little cranky. Yeah. This guy's a little cranky. I am not cranky. He is cranky. It's hot and he's cranky. This is a coconut tres leche that Danny got. So he is going to try this and let us know how it tastes. All right, he's going to try this. I have to get this way so Okay, now I got you. All right, he's going to try this. Here we go. Ooh. How about get a close shot of that? And it's very moist. Mm. Good? It's very good. Um, it's not that sweet. I've had thrust leche that was sweeter than this, but it's still pretty good. And um, the whipped cream is just like a standard whipped cream. They put coconut flakes on top of it, but it's not so much that it overpowers uh, the sweetness from the thrust leche, which is not that sweet to begin with. So it's okay. Well, you know, it's, it's a cool thing. If you've never tried Tres Leche before, I recommend trying it. You'll get so, it again? I probably would pass on it. I've had better. Okay. Not to sound like a Tres Leche snob. <laughs> but um, it's pretty decent, though. Try it. It's his favorite dessert. It's one of my favorite desserts, yeah. Um, yeah, Tres Leche. There you go. This ferry goes from one side of the country of the World Showcase to the other. You can see, I don't know if you can hear me in my microphone, but it's loading now and it's going to take these people all the way over to that side, over there. So it just goes right across the thing. Here is Tinkerbell. And there's Winnie behind me, if you can see. There's someone over there taking a picture, so. There's Winnie, and here is, who's this again, Beb? Huh? Who's that character? That's a rabbit. Oh yeah. And here is Tigger and Piglet. So I'm gonna try this strawberry field refresher with uh, strawberry juice and strawberries and blueberries. And let's give this a try. All right, so here it is, what I just told you with the strawberries and the blueberries. So let's give it a try. Mmm, it's really good. You could taste the blueberry. I can't really tell it's the strawberry, but I can taste the blueberry in this. What, what is it exactly that you got? It's got... I don't know. The sign was back there. I read it earlier. So, it is tea. With a but there's a juice in it. There's juice in juice it too. Juice with uh, actual chunks of real strawberry and blueberries? Yes. Uh -huh, 
you can see some of the seeds at the bottom. The little 50th anniversary label yep. attached to it. Yep. And uh, what kind of straw is that? It's a paper recycling. It's a paper recycling straw. So it's environmentally friendly. Well, at least the straw is, not the container. Yeah. <laughs> Try it again. I think I can taste a hint of apple, like an you, apple juice in it. You probably better drink that up because you probably have another good two minutes before that straw deteriorates into like nothing. I'll get out of here. So you taste it now. See if you like it. Nah, uh, all right. Let me try it. Okay. It's actually really good. Um, it's like uh, one of those... It reminds me of the Star Starbucks uh, Berry Berry Hibiscus. Yeah, drink. the refresher drink. Pretty now this their, is caffeinated too. It is caffeinated. So it's pretty much their version of that, yeah. but with actual fresh trunk chunks of uh, fruit in it. And I don't think I've ever had a tea from here, so this is actually pretty good. Yeah. Oh. Thumbs up. So here's Bambi, Bashful, and Bumper. Yeah. We're waiting to get into the butterfly garden over there. So butterflies, my grandmother used to love butterflies. It was like her thing. So whenever I see a butterfly, um, a butterfly, what do you call these things? A butterfly house or a butterfly whatever? We always stop. Garden. Yeah, garden. We always stop to see um, the butterflies. It's Bambi's butterfly house. That's why Bambi's in the front, because it's her butterfly house. I'm about to go in, I don't know if you guys can see, but some of the butterflies have come out and they're kind of flying around these plants out here. Kind of cool. grandmother or my, any of my family my grandmother loved loved butterflies so this was like her thing so we always whenever we see a butterfly thing we always go in um, so yeah the last thing we're getting before we head out this is char grilled bison ribeye with creamy leek fondue roasted carnival cauliflower ramazeco and port wine cheese butter so let's give this a try. This me... is the bison ribeye. It is really good. It's very flavorful. It's got a lot of spices on it. I don't know if it's normally flavorful or if it's, um, cause I've never had bison, but it's good. It might just be the seasoning, but. Did you get it like medium rare? Or does it come like that? Came like that. But this booth, this is why I had to run and get this before we left. This booth, Every three weeks or four weeks, they change the menu for this festival. So this might not be here the next time we come. So what's that you're eating right now? It's the... You say it was a... Uh, it is a... Artichoke? Didn't you say it was artichoke mm -mm. somewhere? Port wine goat cheese butter. Or maybe it's a cream new leek fondue. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, it's good. And then this is the roasted ca carnival cauliflower. Oh, this has the port cheese butter. So this is the cream leek fondue. That's what that is. It's good, and I've never had leek, so that's really good. So on a scale of one to ten, how would you rank this? Well, the the bison is a little rare, so it's very chewy. It's not like tender. And you rarely eat bison. I've never even had bison, I don't think. But I think you had some bison burgers, but that's pretty much it. 
gun. So you're saying you would order this again? It's mm -hmm, really but I would ask this to be cooked a little. A bit more? Mm-hmm. Kind of like. Because see how red it is right here? Kind of rare. And it's hard to cut. Look. All in all, it's a great dish. And I don't normally eat cauliflower, but this is good cauliflower. Mm -hmm. So this was found where? In the farm Farmer's Feast. Farmer's Feast. And it's only, they changed right the menu out. to the, what's this car ride? Uh, test truck. Test truck. This was a great day, a little warm for this festival, but it was great. We ate lots of food. We didn't try any of the drinks this time, except for that tea, so next time we might try a few um, beverages. But anyhow, great day, great company, and we'll see you next time in our next fun destination. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe. Again, see you on our next destination. Bye.